Hey everybody, welcome to the Hill in Washington and thank you for this exposition. I think it's so important for us to keep up to date with all the progress that's being understood and realized and appreciated and applauded uh, as it relates to uh, energy and energy technology. Um, I want to thank Scott for his work in the uh, sustainability arena and Carol and EESI for their great work in offering this uh, opportunity along with the, uh, the caucus in the house that deals with energy, renewable energy and energy efficiency. Um, I see Brendan Larkin and Jeff are, are, and Molly, our team of uh, great uh, uh, efforts for the interns that we have, but uh, Brendan Larkin does great work and Brendan, give a wave. He uh, does our energy and environment work in the office and we appreciate that immensely. Um, look, this is an opportunity for all of us on the Hill to better understand the ever-expanding growth of opportunity as it relates to energy efficiency, energy storage, and certainly renewable energy. It's a changing science by the minute, it is opportunity galore, and it is not a galactic quality, one that's so far out there that we can't realize it. It is one that is growing on our shelves today. And so it's important for us as legislators, policy makers, and certainly budget crafters to understand the importance of what work you're doing and what opportunities you're presenting on behalf of energy consumers across this great country. It is important for us to understand also that with your innovation and your invention and your technology savviness, it not only enables us to be stronger stewards of the environment, but it also enables us to um, create a stronger outcomes for public health purposes. But beyond that, well beyond that, is the awesome growth of jobs. Jobs in our uh, American economy that often aren't transported out of our country, but are grown here and are lasting jobs that pay significantly well. So we thank you for that contribution, uh, certainly, which is very important. You know, with the attempts to draw us out of the Paris Agreement, it is important for us to understand that we stay robust in our efforts to grow the innovation economy in this country. Do not let that dull our interest in the growth of, of energy innovation. It's so important for us to sharpen that competitive edge of this country, and it begins with the strength of innovation and energy uh, uh, policy and energy investment that enables us to go forth strong, and strong and committed. Uh, what we want to make certain that we do is uh, provide for the dollars in research and the uh, dollars that certainly come by the, uh, uh, the way of policy uh, and budgeting that will enable us to provide those incentives, which have been very bipartisan in nature. Uh, let's face it, the growth of jobs has hit all states, whether they be blue, red, or purple. It's a common agenda for all of us. So tax incentives that enable us to grow the strength and reliability of energy uh, that is uh, coming from renewable sources and innovative sources are important. But so are the accompanying forces that provide for the strengthening, the empowerment of energy efficiency and renewable energy with long-term storage, with seasonal storage, with all sorts of efforts for uh, research that provide for perhaps longer blades on wind turbines or new constructs of wind turbine opportunity or uh, more efficient solar energy or long-term storage with uh, the research that's coming that enables us to provide for more predictability for our energy sake. And certainly with um, all of the grid opportunities that are coming, putting consumers in control, that grid technology and the growth of that technology is important. So all of this tells us there's a growth industry here for jobs, there is a stewardship of the environment that becomes all the more pronounced, where we can be those uh, in charge and in control as stewards of our environment, being more successful with the efforts that you're making and certainly providing for a good public health outcome. All of that speaks to success, a win-win-win scenario, one that will enable us to sharpen the competitiveness of our economy, of our industries as we compete in a global scale. You know, as we've heard the rumors or the made, heard the efforts echo to withdraw us from the Paris Agreement, other nations are not slowing down. And it is important for us to remain as competitive as possible. And our states and our local governments are reminding us, if you don't do it here in Washington, we'll go forward and robustly respond because we believe in this agenda. 
So whether you believe in climate science or not, is it so bad to grow jobs? Is it so bad to clean up our air? Is it so bad to be a better steward of the environment? I say it isn't. So let's go forward. Let's march forward with progress. And thank you one and all for all of the work you do. Thank you for the passion you pour forth on behalf of this arena. And thank you for allowing us to be part of the progress, to taste that progress and understand we are at our best when we unleash the intellectual capacity of this nation to respond to today and tomorrow's energy needs. We will do it, we'll do it significantly well, and we'll have an energy moment of which we can be very proud. Thank you, everyone.